Hello, in this session we will talk about adding a system in SAP HANA Studio to connect to the database. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. In my previous video called Accessing SAP HANA Database, you have seen how you can request a trial access from SAP company to use SAP HANA Studio and the database. So assumption is that you have access to the SAP HANA Studio software which is a client software that is used to connect to the HANA database. With that assumption we will move forward. So on the screen you are seeing my virtual desktop. This is the desktop I got from SAP when I requested the trial access to HANA Studio and on the desktop you are seeing various icons. One of them is HANA Studio. So double click on that. This will launch SAP HANA Studio software as you can see on the screen. So let me maximize this software screen. First thing you need to do in SAP HANA Studio is you need to register a new system and this system is representation of the HANA database that is running on some other machine. So you need, need to create a new system so that your HANA Studio knows where the database is running and then you can make a connection to that system. Again, keep in mind SAP HANA Studio is a client software that you use to connect to the HANA database. In order to add a new system, you need to go into the navigator and in the navigator you need to click, uh, right click your mouse and this will launch a submenu. In the submenu you will see an option called Add System. You need to click on that. Clicking on Add system option will launch this window called system and here you need to provide necessary information including host name and instance number. I am connecting to the trial database that is given to me so I will get this information from my email. So this is the information that pertains to me. This may not necessarily apply to you. My host name is Hana SVR-07 and my instance number is 00. I'm going to give my own description, my HANA database. Now I can click on the next button and here I need to provide the username and password and also this information is there in the email that I received from SAP. You should enter your own username and password and here I'm entering mine this is my username and now I'll enter my password and now I'm going to click on the next button. So far we have specified in the setup which machine we are connecting to. In the hostname field we have specified the machine name which instance we are connecting to in one machine. There might be multiple instances of SAP HANA database running so we have specified the instance number and also we have specified the username and password that we are using to connect to the database. Here you can change additional connection parameters which you don't need to. This is the URL that system will use to connect to the database and we have auto reconnect on if connection is disabled. So we're gonna leave these options as they are and click on the finish button. Now you will see a message, a new password has been created and the password recovery can be made enabled if you provide this additional information. You should say yes. You will be able to recover your master password by providing answers to these questions. So you need to provide the questions as well as the answers. So you can fill this form and click on the OK button. Let's click on the OK button. Now I'm connected to the SAP HANA database using the information I have provided by adding a new system and connection parameters. Okay, now I'm going to expand the catalog node by clicking on this plus sign. After a few moments you will see list of the schemas available. Schemas could be considered as a group of objects and in the list of schemas there would be a schema that is showing the same text as your username. Okay, so this is the most important schema. Here you can create objects 
you can modify objects, you can use objects. In the rest of the schemas, you should not be modifying or deleting any object. You can consume the objects there. Now I will expand my personal schema by clicking on this plus sign and you will see different types of objects that are there in this schema column views procedures tables and views in next videos I will talk more about creating new objects and then we will go from there the goal is to learn how to use SAP HANA studio